What's going on guys, Kevin here today and I have the Mac Mini review for you. To start off, along the outside of the casing, both the front and the back haven't changed much aesthetically from the last generation. This Mac Mini along the front you'll see an indicator light along with an IR receiver. Now flipping over to the back, starting from the left you guys have a standard 1 gigabit ethernet port, a Firewire 800 port, and an HDMI port. Now next to that, keeping the new Apple trend that they started a couple years back, the 2012 Mac Mini features one Thunderbolt port, but for people who don't have piles of money sitting around to buy a drive capable of that, there are four USB 3.0 ports which reach up to 5 gigabit per second transfer speed, and this should be plenty for the everyday user. Next to that, like you would expect on any other computer, there is the SD card slot as well as audio ports. Moving to the guts of the Mac Mini, as of right now it sports a slow 5400 RPM 1TB hard drive. For most people buying an entry level desktop though, this should be more than enough to store files, watch movies, and browse the web with, as upgrading to an SSD here is a little bit tricky and requires comfortability inside of computers. That doesn't mean I'm not going to do it though, Apple has left extra space inside of these mini powerhouses, perfect for storing both an SSD and a hard drive. Now keeping on track with the inside of the Mac Mini, base models come with 4GB of RAM installed, but for people utilizing more demanding applications, it is quite easy to upgrade the standard 1600MHz 4GB of RAM to a hefty 16GB, which I've already done. This, for some, costs a pretty penny though, and 4GB should be more than enough for the user who just wants the desktop experience with their Mac. So far, the Mac Mini has been an absolute pleasure to work with, and being someone who has come from an Intel Core 2 Duo 2010 MacBook Pro with just 4GB of RAM installed, this has been a major upgrade. It has made it more of a pleasure to use Final Cut Pro 10 rather than a battle, however, the Mini is by no means a gaming machine. The HD 4000 graphics are great for video editing, watching movies, and playing games on the graphics level of Angry Birds, but for the more intense gamer, this is by no means a pleasant experience. If you would like to play games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Bioshock, you're going to want to go for something like the MacBook Pro, which features a decently powerful graphics card. Albeit, when put in retrospect to other Macs like the iMac and the Retina MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini is relatively cheap. Coming in at only $599 for the absolute base model, it's hard to beat for a dual-core 4-thread machine. Spend a little bit extra and for $800 you can get the same insides as a MacBook Pro, just without the screen and in a desktop shape. Take a little bit further and install 16GB of 1600MHz RAM, along with a 64GB SSD, and you're up to about 920s for a pretty small machine that you can throw a lot at. As far as recommending the Mac Mini, I would have to say if you're in the market for an entry level desktop it's a great machine. With 4GB of RAM standard, an Intel Core i5, and HD 4000 graphics, which really aren't as bad as people make them out to be, I would have to say this is a great choice for $599. For people who need a little bit more power, the higher end is great as well and upgrades can still be performed by the user, which is just another plus side to this machine. It really depends how much you're willing to pay, but I would recommend any form of this computer to anyone wanting a desktop experience. It looks great, it performs well, and doesn't come with an extremely exuberant price tag like many other Macs come with. Anyway guys, that's my review of the Mac Mini. Thanks for watching, but uh, if you're curious, I am doing an SSD upgrade video in the future. I have an SSD ready to do it, I'm just waiting for the kit to come in the mail. So if you would like to review that, there will be an annotation on screen when that is able to view. But if you'd like to see past videos about the Mac Mini, I did a benchmark video to, so you guys can go ahead and check that out for the performance of the Mac Mini. If you would like to see my RAM upgrade video so that you know you can see what RAM to upgrade it with, that video is right there. And if you'd like to see my really rushed unboxing video because I was really excited about this Mac, then you can go ahead and click right there. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video because I worked really hard on it, you can go ahead and hit the like button and subscribing is never not an option as well that would be awesome if you did that but anyway guys that's it for this video peace out